and action. So today I'm going to take this hey, antique... Hey. Action. Today I'm going to take this antique <laughs> table that I found at an antique store and try my hand at chalk paint. And because we are on our own farm and ranch, I'm going to put Healing Moon Farm Established 2018 on the top of this. But I don't have any cool stencils, and I'm horrible at stencils, so I'm going to attempt to freehand it. Um, I believe it's from the 1920s is what the man told me, and he added a light kit to it. Um, but it's an old side table, and I thought it was so cute and vintage, so why not? Wish me luck. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Two Millennials in a Farm. We have just been so, so busy. I know I say that in every single vlog video, but I do truly mean it. It is insane. Um, we moved into the new house. It's been almost two months now, and one month of that doesn't really count, in my opinion, because we had the holidays, and we have been a bed and breakfast, pretty much, uh, for friends and family uh, COVID willing, of course, um, we're disinfecting and staying safe and doing everything we can on that front. In this video, I actually took an antique table that I purchased. I believe I was told it was from the 1920s. It's an old bedside table and a gentleman at the antique store installed a light kit on it, which I thought was so totally cute and really vintage. And I decided to take some chalk paint and spruce it up. This was my first time using chalk paint, and shortly after starting I realized you're supposed to wet the brush and use a spray bottle with some water to move the chalk paint around. I guess this helps it spread more smoothly and be a little less thick. I still think it turned out totally cute, but in hindsight that may have been better. By the time I finished putting the paint on and got around to putting the clear coat on, I decided to dip my brush in some paint. I had let the clear coat sit on the front porch deck in the freezing cold temperatures and that kind of messed up the consistency a little bit so the water really helped with that anyway i wanted to let y'all know some updates we're working on setting up an etsy shop for our handmade jewelry and soap of course always our soap um and it'll be in addition to our online shop at healingmoonfarm.com shop so we will have our listings in two places just to try to reach as many people as possible. This holiday season has been amazing for the business. We've actually sold a lot of jewelry and soaps. It's been wonderful. And I would say a lot of that's probably thanks to Facebook. We finally realized we had to be on our Facebook business page. If you haven't had a chance to check it out yet, please do look it up. You can just type the at symbol and then Healing Moon Farm into Facebook search bar and we should pop up and we would love if y'all could follow our business page as well. Anyway, right now we're working really hard on our DIY fence video. We have a massive yard to fence in for the one and only Anatolian Shepherd Kaiju and of course Lulu, though she doesn't seem to care too much in her older years. She'd much rather lay inside on the on the padded cushiony couch or rug but we are working on that fence and I can't wait to show y'all what we came up with, how it worked out. Of course, we'll let y'all know how much money we spent and how we did it um, and what we learned along the way, things we could have done different, how we could have improved it, all of those little tidbits we usually do in our DIY videos. Now that the holidays are over, we're working on some more ASMR farm videos not just ASMR in general, but more farm related stuff. We do realize, you know, we are a farm and ranch and that's what people tune in to see. So we would like to put some more of those out. We're working on putting up some game trail cams. We have bears, mountain lions, bobcats, coyotes, anything, you name it. We have a lot of really beautiful predators out here in this natural environment of the Arkansas mountains. Um, the Wachita Mountains in Arkansas, I mean. And we would love to capture some of that on video, maybe catch some wild turkeys. We'd like to set up some deer feeders. Um, all of that is soon to come. Of course, all of these videos cost money, so we're doing them as we can afford to purchase the products and items needed for them. So hopefully we'll have something really cool for y'all soon. 
We're thinking about our goat enclosure. We've been looking at the barn, kind of measuring out how we can get stalls that are the appropriate size for donkeys and goats and enclosed, predator-proof, warm enough and cool enough in the summer and in the winter, all of those great things. For this go around, we really wanna set up a vet station with a chute system inside the barn. So when we need to do anything like trim goat hooves or give medications, take care of sick animals, anything of that sort, parasite control. We wanna be able to be in an enclosed area where Brady and I aren't fighting the elements and chasing down um, animals that are much faster and in better shape than us across several acres. That was something we learned from having the Dorper sheep for sure. So that is our plan with this. We're really taking our time about it. It might take us a good year to totally get this together. We have about 10 acres we've picked out that we'd like to clear some of the trees from. So we're gonna look into getting a timber company maybe to come out and take some of that timber, timber to see if we can make a profit. Not totally sure if that's gonna work in our case or not. If not, then we're gonna be out there clearing the trees slowly by ourselves, just enough so that we have grass and space for some pasture for our animals. Um, of course, goats don't particularly mind if you have a lot of trees, but we do want them to have a really well-rounded diet, and we want to be able to see them as much as possible from the house. That helps a lot with predators, and that also helps um, for the forest. It, it's really good to clear out between your trees and do what they call a prescribed or a controlled burn, where the fire department will come out and kind of burn off the brush in between it's great for the environment, good for nature, helps prevent forest fires, and it kind of works out in our favor because we get some helping hands from firefighters that are in training. So we get to help them out, they get to help us out. It's a great idea all around. We're working on our hoop house. We had a cleared out area that we thought we were gonna put it in. And after a little bit of thought and thinking on where water supply is and how we're gonna do that more, easily we're thinking we may end up clearing some more trees in another spot and putting it over there so more on that to come that is our next project after the fence we're also working on revamping the chicken coop i'd love to do really cute flower boxes on it and give it some paint and just something cute and cozy i am obsessed with adorable little chicken coops i think that's so awesome but i do want to keep the large size of our current coop because the chickens love all that space I know you don't need it for them, but I think the more space, the merrier. I want them to really be able to jump around, stretch their wings, have fun, and also be in a safe enclosed area where predators can't get in. Our first farmer's market booth is coming up this upcoming Saturday, January, I want to say 9th. Yes, January 9th. And we're super excited. That'll be our first booth. We'll be there from 8 to noon. If you are in the Fort Smith, Arkansas area, we would love for you to stop by. If not, and you are interested in our products, please do check out our online shop at www.healingmoonfarm.com shop. And don't forget to give our Facebook business page a like. Can't wait to see y'all soon. Bye.